I'm going to show you how to scrape the bottom of a mower deck. Now for most of y'all that sounds very simple. For the most part it is, but I do have a special tool that helps you get that heavy, heavy caked on grass that's underneath your deck. We are in a spring rush, so grass is growing extremely high quickly. It seems like each week you're taking off three to four inches of grass and it's caking the bottom of the mower deck. I do have a few scrapers that I like to use. Uh, this one in particular is my favorite. It's called the Grass Buster and I like it because it's flexible. These two mainly I use for my Toro uh, Time Master and these are flexible but they're just your ordinary paint scrapers. This one here is a heavy duty scraper. It has a nice rounded edge but the problem with this one is it's not flexible. Once I lift this deck up and I get these blades off I'll bring you right back and then I'll show you the tool that I use to remove that caked on grass that's these really just don't work. These are the old blades that were on there. Not too bad, just a couple of nicks here and there. Threw some sticks, but once I sharpen these, they'll be fine. And then here's the blades that I'm going to put on. Freshly sharpened. These are just the OEM Toro blades that I like to use. All right, so this stuff right here is fairly simple to take off. Just using the grass buster because it's flexible. Around the edges here. You can see how much grass was underneath there. A lot of grass. You should do this almost every time you cut or every other day, depending on what season it is. Right now, it should be almost every single day after you're done cutting, which I cut yesterday, so that's why I'm doing this today. I try not to go all the way underneath the deck either. Although I do have all the safety measures with a jack stand and everything set up. And you can see some of this grass, like right here is still soaking wet. So you want to definitely get that out of your deck. That'll cause rust eventually. Cause many issues. That's why a lot of times I spray fluid film underneath here. Actually helps with removing the grass. It doesn't prevent the grass from sticking, but it makes it a little easier to remove it. Remember in a minute here, I'm going to show you something that I use. I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. Um, and you can buy different attachments for it. And it's going to help me scrape some of the real heavy duty uh, caked on grass that I can't get with this. I'm going to grab that. Uh, Bellard scraper now, see if I can reach to the middle. This scraper is good for reaching 
so you don't have to go all the way underneath your deck. Got a nice long reach to it, knock some of this stuff out of there. I stay on top of this though. <coughs> Even though it doesn't look like it, I cut some high, high yards this week. In a second here, I'm gonna show you what I use. So as soon as I clean up some of this loose stuff, I know it's boring for you to watch this. I'll check right back. Here's what I use, the Milwaukee M12 Multi-Tool. And I'm using a flexible scraper, adhesive scraper by Diablo. And that's what's gonna get the heavy duty stuff off. And I'll show you at the end of this video what else I use this for cleaning your mower blades. And I'll show you how I do that which believe me, on the mower blades, it's extremely hard to use one of these. It's not impossible, but this right here saves so much time and I'll show you that at the end here. But I'm gonna go in underneath this mower deck and show you some uh, real difficult uh, caked on grass that something like this or even this has a hard time getting off. So this stuff right here is really caked on. So if you grab your multi-tool, and I'm using it just on, on a setting uh, six here. So that just peels it off like butter. I peeled that right off there. And you can see how moist some of that is underneath there. Right about here, it's really caked on. But watch when you use this. One thing you have to be careful is if you hit a bolt, you will get a little jolt, but it's not going to rip the bolt off or nothing, especially with just the scraper on there. get the idea underneath the mower deck that uh, this really removes some heavy caked on stuff that a scraper will just not get off. Um, like I said, I use setting six, but now I'm going to show you what I do uh, to these blades here. I'm going to remove this stuff and you're going to see what it does. Like I said, just setting six. You'll see the heavy stuff come right off.
Do you really need this? The answer would be no. Does it help and speed up time? The answer is yes, it does. It helps you remove some of that heavy, heavy, heavy caked on grass, <clears throat> which these two, it's, you could do it, but you're gonna be picking away for a long time where this just rips it right off. Your deck is never gonna be immaculate like the day you bought it. It's just not gonna happen. Unless you take the engine off, the whole deck off, all the bolts out and pressure wash it or sandblast it all off and repaint it. It's still going to have grass no matter what you do. The object is to lighten it up and uh, clean it up. And I find this coming uh, handy here, especially when I'm cleaning some blades off to get ready to sharpen. It works a lot faster than these. Hopefully this one helped you. If it did, hit that like for me and do me a favor and uh, check out one of these videos that pop up here. You got about three seconds. Three two, one.